while the Saki engineers went back to the drawing board for the Ninja 400's parallel twin power plant. In spite of the fact that they weren't exactly putting together what you might call a stupid fast engine, due diligence was paid to performance enhancing details. It starts at with a 70mm bore and 51.8mm stroke that gives us the 399cc displacement and flatter pistons that increase compression to 11.5 to 1 with less squish area. Oil jets cool the piston crowns from below which in turn allows them to survive with a lighter construction for less reciprocating mass. Staggered intake funnels it smooth out torque generation with a larger airbox that helps increase volumetric efficiency a tad with oval shaped 32mm throttle bodies to manage the fuel delivery. What does all this give us? Well for starters, the mill turns in a predictable, user friendly performance that should be manageable for the target group, those at the bottom of the experience pool. The full 28 pounds of torque comes on at 8 grand with a slip and assist clutch to help limit back jerking system and prevent loss of rear traction during aggressive maneuvers. No TC or rider modes, but that's to be expected at this pricing point. At the bottom of the barrel is the base Ninja 400 in metallic spark black or candy plasma blue for $4,999.